Hello and welcome to Training with Tranny. My name is Paul Tranny and I'm really going to take you through something that is really helpful if you're dealing sort of in a larger work group setting or even if you are an individual and you want to work on say certain aspects of a specific larger project. Okay so we're talking about workflow here. Uh, in fact here's my project and again it, there's a lot going on with it. In fact it's almost done. Uh, I can click on this uh, live button and click on this more details just to give you an idea of what's going on with it again it's pretty advanced you can see there's this gallery down here you can hear some audio as well and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and fine-tune some of this in fact maybe I want to have another designer work on these images uh, while I continue to do the programming for the site well I can do that uh, and again I'll just close that file and I'm going to start in this FLA file. This is the majority of my project. And you can see it actually is pretty complex overall. But what I can do with any FLA file is I can go to Save As. And I can save this file as an uncompressed document, a flash CS5 uncompressed, an XFL document. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it out uh, to my desktop as an XFL file. And I'll show you what I mean when I say uncompressed. So let's minimize this. And here we are. We have this city guide folder. Again, here's my FLA and here's now my city guide folder. So I'm going to double click on it and let's take a peek inside. Uh, notice I do have this XFL file, which I just mentioned, but there's a lot more going on here. Um, in fact, I can kind of twirl down and see all of these various uh, file formats in here, but I'm going to take a look at the library. As I expand this out, you can see that this library folder contains an audio folder that sure enough would contain audio. Uh, it better contain audio since it's named that. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at even some of the bitmaps, for instance. Again, I'll open that up, and I can see those are the images that were in the FLA file as well. So what this means is I can go ahead and have somebody else work on these files while I continue to uh, maybe work on the code or work on the audio files. So you can see how you can start to break up uh, the tasks of a larger project. And uh, that's what's going on here. So uh, bear with me as I just have this new images folder and it just contains these sort of five images. And again, these are more vibrant. I got these from my designer. Uh, it's really great. And again, I'll just replace the ones currently in that folder. Again, that simple new audio track and again I'm keeping this simple I can see I have this live spread this is the flies track as you hear them sort of buzzing around I want to replace that with something a little more rich um, but regardless of the file uh, if it appears in this library folder I can go ahead and replace it and it will appear in my project so now that that's done I'll go to city guide XFL and again all it is is a simple double click there's no file import anything like that so sure enough here I am in flash with my XFL file open even showing the last frame that I was working on but as you can see here is the image that I was working on so I'll just select my selection tool here's my image again very powerful it imports those various items that were replaced and quite frankly everything is good to go Control, test movie, test. So I'll click on the live section, go to more live details, and here you can see the image that was swapped out, and let's check to see if the others were swapped out. Sure enough, all of the other images were swapped out, again, by another designer, and you can hear, obviously, the audio track is different as well. So as you can see, the XFL file format really makes it uh, really flexible, enabling multiple people to work on the same file, or if you're working alone, you're able to edit those specific files. Uh, but that's it for me. Uh, this was Training with Tranny, and join me next time.